So there's a fantastic post by my dear friend Ken Ken Metzik on the on the forum, Windworks Forum, mysterytomastery.com. Come and check it out. Get involved. Talking really good, serious stuff. Here are some learning concepts that have been valuable to me. First, trust and believe in the process. What happens here if I do this? Oh, no, we don't want to do that. <laughs> trust and believe in the process. Having trust in and belief in the process is important to learning and development. You've got to understand what we're working on. And there is a process involved and everyone wants to overdo it. So there is a process of efficiency based on an understanding of the mechanics and the acoustics and the physics of playing the horn. It will feel different. It will feel like you're not doing anything, but the process will be right. I've got what's called no notes. Sit there and do the right process and go. And people will go, no note came out. And I'll go, congratulations, the process was right. Check out the difference between a no note and a low C. All I'm doing is changing the aperture corners a little bit, tiny bit. Aperture corners, milk spout, <laughs> firm the corners, no note becomes a note. And it might you might not get the C right in the at the time. Doesn't matter. Keep working on it. You will. Second, embrace those mistakes or missteps that lead to self-discovery. Mistakes or errors and or missteps are an important part of the learning process. I like to approach them as an opportunity for non-critical self-discovery. Non-critical. Be kind to yourself. There are even times when I discover something that works. Uh, there are even times when I discover something that works. That is the part of the process. Working with eyes closed for self-awareness while not being self-critical is helpful to me. If you're serious about improving your playing and you want to overcome hurdles, read those words and embrace them. So important. Third, take responsibility for your own learning. I find that it's important for me to be responsible and do the work by following the process and working on the system. If I do not do the work, I cannot expect the results that I want to achieve. I also try to be aware of my progress and make an honest evaluation of where I am in the sequence of the process. I find that it's important that as I do not get that I do not get try that I don't try to get ahead of myself in the exercises. Development and learning is a lifelong endeavor. Just some quick thoughts on the process of learning. Don't rush ahead. Illusion of competence is a killer. <laughs> we think we're doing it right, but we're not. Um, take your time. Eyes closed. Look at the mysterytomastery.com homepage. Eyes open for learning. Eyes closed for storing. Open for learning. What's the exercise? What does it look like when it's demonstrated? What does it look like when I read the instructions? Then close my eyes and do the process. Replicating the process from away from the instrument then on the instrument is the tricky part because the belief system says this won't work. This can't work. I can't play like this. Versus I understand the physics I understand the acoustics. I understand the process. I understand how it works. The three word slogan is this must work. It feels different. That is fine. <laughs> Errors are the learning process. Because of your understanding of how it works and the end result that you want, you then adhere to process, 
eyes closed, replicate process, instrument on, no note happens. Don't panic because you're getting close to the result. That's an error. We didn't get the outcome that we wanted. Then all of a sudden, some would call that an error. Others would call that a building block, a step, a fundamental step towards the correct outcome. Milk spout, aperture corners in, body's concert hall, drop. That's not what I want, but the process was great. The result wasn't what I wanted, but the process was great. Oh, where did that come from? Gone from no note, tick, to a note, tick, good, good. Was it the result that I want? No. Was the process right? Yes. Now let's keep changing it. Aperture corners, tongue position. Mantra number one, I want the lips to interact with the air as if they're the vocal cords. Playing is no harder than humming, talking, and singing. Please read, reread, and read again Ken's awesome post. It's really important stuff. See you later.